Hi guys! So I know it's only the end of April, but I have a sad stack of planners that I intended to use in 2016 and I've ended up not using or only using for the first couple of months. So I thought that I could go through them and show you what they are and what went wrong and then they can have their moment of glory. And it's possible that I will end up using them again in future, but I vowed not to buy any more planners in 2016 that I'm not going to use. So like that I don't already have a specific purpose in mind for. Hopefully I'll be able to keep to that. Um, so hopefully there won't be any more of this type of disasters coming in future later in the year. So let's get started. The first one is this Slim Paper Blanks 2016 diary. Uh, I actually got three Paper Blanks planners at the same time. I got a bit carried away. This was in the autumn and one of the other two got given away as a present and then the third one is, is also in this sad lineup so you'll see it a bit later. So this one originally was bought with the intention of using it as our home planner and as you may know if you've been following me for a while the home planner went through a few different incarnations and it's currently this donkey book Disc Agenda Diva. This one never even made it into the auditions really. I never started using it because by the time January came round we were already using something else. So we then briefly decided to repurpose it and make it a business planner for James and that didn't work out because he is susceptible to planner fail but he was using that for a little while so you can see there's this uh, list here. This was from the very beginning of end of December but then that that didn't last and then there was another attempt here and then he started using it as a gratitude journal but that also didn't didn't really last very long and since then it's just been sadly neglected so I feel bad about this planner because it's it's nice it's kind of a funny shape it's it's a bit narrow it's a bit similar to the week size but the week is at the weeks is actually a bit taller so it's like kind of I don't know, with the weeks it somehow works, I think maybe because it stays open, but this one, because it's not Hobonichi and not Tomoe River Paper, it doesn't really stay open. So it's just kind of a funny size, but I really like it. I love the cover. The cover is just beautiful and it's really good quality. It's nice paper. I like the design. So I kind of like to be able to use this for something, but it sort of bugs me that it's had, you know, bits written in it early on. You know the feeling when you like to have like a nice new planner that you start from the beginning and then you fill it up but it all looks even and you know it's all written in the same pen and all the same handwriting so this is never going to be like that. So I'm still thinking about it. You can see that I move the bookmark sometimes to keep it to the like kind of to the current date so that I can try to think of something to use it for but at the moment this is sadly going in the 2016 planner graveyard. Then the next one is an interesting story. This is a 2016 day per page Moleskine planner in large. So this is like almost the equivalent of A5 size. It's a bit narrower. And I bought this impulsively on Amazon last summer when it came out just because I liked the color and I'd had one of these the year before so it was kind of nostalgic. By the way, as usual, if you can hear the snoring in the background, that's Tails, who for some reason likes to go to sleep on the sofa right when I'm up about to make a video. I'm not sure why. Um, so again, I, I, I bought this without a particular use in mind, which was probably dangerous. I just wanted to see the color and I thought that I'd find a use for it. And as time went on, I couldn't think of a use for it. Then... At one point we decided that James would use it to track his like business expenses, you know, like kind of earnings and outgoings, but, but that never happened. And then at one point, I'm not sure if you can see it here, there, you see that Panda put a big claw mark on it, uh, which after, after Panda passed away, it kind of became like sentimental. So actually before that, when he was sick, we started keeping it as a as a tracker of all of his medicines because at one point he was taking a lot of medicines and it was getting really complicated so I just started writing down this was um, after he came back from hospital the first time and then he, he went into hospital again there but when so when he was when he was home we were using this as a medicine log and then 
after we lost him we briefly started using this to record just like kind of things that made us think of him like you know reminders of him and various other like panda related things you know like if we saw something in a film that reminded us of us of him or if we had a dream about him or something so we've kind of been using it like that but it's been so sporadic that it's not really you can see like for the last nearly month there hasn't been anything in it so I'd sort of like to use it for that but it just somehow feels like we're not really able to keep up with it and it's a bit messy as well because it was b being used for these various different things so it's it doesn't really look like I'm not sure if it's the sort of thing that would be nice to look over again in future you know I'm just keeping a condolence card that we got from the vet so this one I'm I'm not really sure what to do with because I, I want to keep it because it's got this mark on the front that he made but I don't really feel like we can use it for anything else other than something panda related and that, and that doesn't seem to be working so this one also goes in the stack then the next one is the top down planner so this one I actually originally ordered with James in mind I was curious to see it of course but I had in mind that James would be using it because I already knew that it wasn't the sort of thing that I needed I think because I've I've got my work planner like the Hobonichi and that's really where my main sort of I guess goals are, you know like my main goals are work related and they're kind of all scheduled out in that so I didn't really feel like I would be doing it justice I guess but but we thought that for James it would be really good because he has his own business and it can be hard I think to like you know make sure that you're motivated and keep on top of things and it's really nice how it has like these different sort of categories so that you can put your goals for like work and your goals for a personal life and your goals for you know like I don't know home or whatever so that was the plan and he did actually have an initial session in it but to be fair I made him do that because I wanted to try it out so he, he put in some goals here and he did actually like it he said that it was good but as I mentioned he's very susceptible to planner fail so he kind of fell off the wagon and then didn't do anything more with it since then and so I've occasionally looked at it because I think when you have a dated planner everybody knows this feeling you kind of feeling like you know the clock is ticking and you're like what am I going to do with it and the time is running out and these pages are already no good so much as I I can't deal with undated planners because I like the work to be done for me like I don't like to have to write the dates in and worry that I'll make a mistake and I just like to be able to do forward planning and I like to have the dates I can also understand why undated planners are appealing especially for planner addicts because then you don't have this pressure of feeling like you have to think of a use for this planner that you've got so this one I I don't foresee a use for this because I, aesthetically I don't really like it so I, I like the idea of it and I like some of the features like I like how it says this week's success will be X and then I will enjoy myself by X because I think that's really nice to keep in mind and it's something that I've never seen I mean most planners don't have that on a weekly basis at least so it's quite nice that it you know it sort of draws your attention to this sort of like positive outlook and I like how it's got the goals here and the schedule here so there are things that I like about it but I just don't I don't like the color scheme and I also don't like the paper uh, there's just a, sort of a lot of things aesthetically that don't work for me about this planner which is just it's a personal thing I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it but I just I kind of feel like I'd like to find a use for it because it's dated and it's sitting on my shelf glaring at me but I really can't think of how to use this so this one goes on the stack as well then the next one I love this is the other paper blanks and this is absolutely beautiful and at the beginning of the year this was our home planner and I really really was expecting to use this for the whole year and I love it because like the other one that I showed you it's it's got a beautiful cover it has nice paper quality it's like nice and creamy it's a beautiful design I just like everything about it I like the the horizontal layout you know it's got an um, equal space for every every day including the weekends and it's got space for notes at the bottom and that was awesome so I was really having fun with this as you can see and I think some of you know if you've seen my earlier I think it was my February 
planner lineup update. I was using this in January and this was like awesome. This was where I like put lots of stickers and it was really, really fun. And this was for our like kind of joint family type appointments. And then when Panda got sick, I, I developed bad associations with it because he, he got very sick and had to be taken to hospital while I was decorating this. And I just associated it with, with that and then I couldn't use it again. And then a while after we lost him, I decided to start using it again. And so you can see, I, I sort of filled in a lot of this week spread and then I just couldn't do it anymore for some reason. So I think aside from the, the kind of the sad associations, there is also something about it. For one thing, it's quite big. Looking back for a home planner, I would have picked a, a smaller size. This is like bigger than A5. They call it ultra, but you can see compared to the Moleskine, Moleskine is just a bit narrower than A5. So if like A5 would be like to here probably, this is quite a bit bigger than that. So it's more like the happy planner size. And for us, since this only includes appointments and like kind of joint to do's, we weren't really making the most of it because we didn't have that many, you know, kind of like joint things. So I was putting a lot of stickers on it and I started to feel like it was a waste of stickers because I wanted to make it look all colorful. So a lot of times I was just putting mostly stickers on. So I think in retrospect, it would have been better to have like, um, this, the next size smaller down is a bit smaller than A5. That would have worked or even like a, an even smaller one, like kind of something sort of between A5 and A6. So um, that was that was one issue with it. And then the other thing is that we we started doing meal planning. And so it really worked to have like a nice big vertical spread where you could put the whole day in. And this doesn't have that. And then also to have like a sort of quite a big month on two page box where you can put in all of your appointments. And that's what I started doing as I'll show you in a minute when I get to the next planner in the graveyard. And that doesn't work here because this has, for some reason, instead of a month on two pages, it, is, it has two months on one page. So you really can't do very much with these boxes. I was just using this to mark the days when uh, the recycling goes out and stuff like that. But like you can only fit like one thing in the box. Anyway, so this one, like again, I'd love to use it because I, I love the size. It's just like nice and satisfying. And because it's big, it does lay quite flat. So depending on what page you open it to, but it lays pretty flat. And it's just, it's beautiful. And I really liked the idea when I started this of having this completed and like being able to go over it at the end of the year and just go like, ah, so beautiful, like a whole year's worth of completed spread. So it really makes me sad. I feel like I've failed in that respect in just having it kind of partway full. And I'd like to think of something else to use it for. But the, again, there's the issue of like, say I started using this as some kind of a log, or, you know, a tracker or something. It wouldn't have the stickers. And that would also be unsettling for, you know, <laughs> the OCD brain it would be like stickers here, no stickers here, writing here. It wouldn't be nice to flip through. So I'm kind of stuck because unless I think of a use for it where it can have stickers and look pretty much like this, and then also I'd have to go back and fill in all the empty spreads, which would take up a lot of stickers and seem kind of pointless because I'm, I'm not very good at after the fact, like at, at tracking basically. I really, really like planning for future events, but I'm not very good at recording what's already happened. It's kind of like once it's already happened, like my brain doesn't care anymore. And it's just like onto the next thing. So I don't think I'd be able to do anything like scrapbooking or journaling because somehow my, my brain is just not set up like that. So I really am at a loss for what to do with this. And it makes me very sad because I just think it's so beautiful and I would love to have it completed and be able to admire it. But it looks like that was not on the cards. So sadly that goes in the graveyard as well and then last but not least we have the happy planner so the happy planner is a funny story you've probably seen this before it's featured in quite a few of the other videos that i've had this year so i first got this just because i wanted to try out the disband system and this was kind of like you know one of the only disband planners available at the time and from the beginning i've said this before i was not keen on the laminated covers and i also felt like it was a bit kind of it's a bit sort of like I don't know too like bubbly and you know, it has all of those like positive quotes which I don't really mind the quotes but I feel like sometimes they're a bit you know they kind of they can be a little bit on the cheesy side so uh, I was a bit like I'm not really sure if this is me but I got it because I wanted to try the disband system and it was very cheap 
so for some reason I just really liked it like I, I like the layout I like the like kind of nice big pages um it depends on the one that you that you get this is like kind of the one of the plainest ones of of last year's edition so it you know kind of didn't feel too sort of like over the top to me in terms of you know like quotes and colorful things and like yeah so we got it at the end of December and we started using it as a food tracker so not a planner because at the time we thought we couldn't do food planning meal planning but we started using it for tracking which is odd because I've just said the opposite I've just said that I'm good at planning but not at tracking but we for some reason we thought if we wrote down what we ate then it would kind of like make us more aware of like if we were skipping meals or not eating any fruit and you know that kind of thing and we both really got into it so you can see here we were all like using it um, and then I started putting a few stickers on and we were like really into it we were like color coding and then I started recording how much we were spending on food which was also a good thing because like I I hadn't I hadn't known I hadn't really worried about it before but we started to try to go zero waste and that somehow just made our food bills extremely expensive I still haven't figured out quite why trying to get unpackaged food in London somehow unless I'm doing it wrong very expensive um, and then we started using the monthly spread to track exercise so it was going to be like a kind of wellness planner so like you know food and exercise and then I attempted to do meal planning for dinners here on the monthly spread instead and we thought we would move this fitness tracker to another planner so I did like a bit of attempted meal planning of dinners and that didn't work out either and then we started using the monthly spread to record all of our like kind of joint appointments and it, that was at the same time as it replaced this you can see in, in February when I stopped using this that's when we started using this instead and that worked well because the monthly spread was enough because as I mentioned we don't have that many joint appointments so that was fine and then I started using the notes section on the monthly spread here as a shopping list and that was working really well then the only reason that I stopped so you can see we stopped here was because this arrived and I'd already known when this came out that this was kind of like everything I was looking for in a disc bound planner just aesthetically I like I really like the design and so I knew that when when this came that I would switch over and just sort of transfer everything that we'd been doing in the happy planner into this but then I still wanted to use the happy planner because I'd grown quite attached to it and you know it's the same thing if you've had a planner that's dated you you feel like it's a crime to just let it sit on the shelf and have the days go by and not be used so the next thing we use it for I started using it for like kind of ad hoc things that that lended themselves to this uh, vertical spread with the morning afternoon and evening boxes because I think different planners work for different things and this kind of spread doesn't work for everything but it there are some things that it works really well for like like meal tracking or meal planning where you know morning afternoon evening makes sense as divisions so tails was in hospital right around the same time that we lost panda and he it was really really odd like how it happened at the same time but he somehow hurt his eye um, and and then he wasn't eating for a while because he was so upset about um, Panda being gone that he ended up in hospital again very quickly afterwards um, because he made himself sick from not eating so he was on this regime of medicine and I started using this to track his medicine just like we'd been doing for Panda and it was perfect for that because there were some he had to take in the morning and the evening and some he had to take three times a day so I used that for this this time this is where it stopped and fortunately he, he recovered from both illnesses and that was great and then we started putting the meal planning back in here temp the meal tracking back in here temporarily and we thought that we would just use the this planner for just for like kind of joint appointments and to do's and take the meal planning out of it but very quickly for some reason we realized that that didn't work and it was just better having everything in one place because it can get kind of confusing if you've got too much stuff that's similar and too many different planners as I'm sure many of you can relate to so we stopped that and then I started using it like just for trying to write down so because I was I was upset just because of what had happened with Panda we were both like kind of it was a difficult time so I started using this to try to write down something nice that I was going to do 
at like kind of in the morning and in the afternoon in the evening like just to sort of focus on the positive and like give myself something to look forward to so I used it for that for a little while but I couldn't really keep up with it because it's the sort of thing that it's easier to do when you're not like really busy so there was like I think one or two days when I did it and then I just couldn't do it anymore and so then it was blank for a while and then I thought I would use it just like kind of like as a sort of rough draft like a scrap planner for writing down like tentative ideas and activities and kind of almost like as a double to the home planner just because it made me sad to see it not being used and then I briefly started using it to record things that had happened but as I've said before I'm no good at that so that didn't last and that was it and that brings us up to this week so this has kind of like been sporadically used and it's kind of messy and it has all these different things in it and now I really don't know what to do with it because I can't think of anything else that needs the morning, afternoon, evening division. So we are now doing meal planning rather than tracking and that's working really, really well because as I, I've mentioned when I last showed the updated setup of this, we started doing like whole entire day planning as opposed to just dinners and so it gives us a complete schedule of like what to eat for that day which is awesome and just takes the stress out of it. So since we're doing that, we don't need to do tracking anymore because it's like, it's it's pointless because it's basically the same as what the plan is. And I just can't think of what else to use it for. So it's a shame because I, I like it and it, it does really make me happy. I like the colors and just, I like the, the design. And it, we've got until December. So hopefully I'll think of something else, but at the moment this is also going in the graveyard. So here you have it, you have this array of planners which were acquired for different reasons and used for different purposes for different amounts of time but now have all sadly ended up in the unused section of my planner shelf so I think that one thing that's good about them is that I can always use them in videos where I'm talking about like different layouts or something and I need to illustrate a particular type of planner so I think that the, it will never be a complete loss and most of them, as you can see, have been used for something at some point. So it's just that they didn't work out for the whole year. They they kind of, you know, they didn't they didn't survive more than a couple of months. But it's also possible that I'll think of something again in future. So I'm not really upset about it because I think it's all part of the journey and I've had fun like with each one of these. And I also sometimes like this is really sad planner addict um, behavior but sometimes like I just take them out to look at them and like admire them and think of possible things that I could use them for again and that makes me happy so that's already kind of like you know a worthwhile activity in itself I think and also sometimes it's quite nice having a spare planner because you might end up needing something that you weren't expecting to need so like when Tails was sick and he had to take all the medicine it was very convenient having this and having it be unallocated because I could just take it and use it for that so I think if if I'm not too precious about it and you know not too worried about having everything match up and having the font be the same and having like the whole year be with stickers or without stickers or whatever then I'll, I'll just see the, these as resources that I can use for anything that comes up that I would otherwise not have somewhere to record things it could be just like more ad hoc things that are you know kind of like on a temporary basis maybe that's what I'll use this for if there's anything that comes up that needs to be recorded temporarily I'll use it for that and maybe the universe will send some other inspired uses for the rest of them. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back again soon with another video. I've got lots of new stuff coming up because I bought a whole bunch of planner supplies. So stay tuned. Bye.